lost some weight and had to get new bras and walked into a Soma boutique. As I was getting fitted, I asked the sales associate, what can I do? You know, I have like 16 good bras. Can you refurbish them like a laptop? She said, homeless women need bras. And I didn't know that. And I'm sure for everyone, like, it's like learning a new word. And you're like, oh my God, have I been living under a rock? How have I not known this? A couple of folks have said, oh, this is like when a moment becomes a movement. For me, it was just a Facebook post. I just put it out there and then realized it was bigger than me, needed its own Facebook page, called it Support the Girls. They go to my post office. I pick them up every like week to two weeks. I fill up my minivan. We've had convent send bras, we've had nun bras, women in Australia and Bra Thailand and Taiwan. So they're all going downstairs to a room where I use as my staging room. It's also my guest bedroom. So oftentimes my family is like, hey, we're excited to come to visit. We're coming for a yeah. holiday. We're coming for an yeah. event. Are we going to be sleeping on bras and tampons? <laughs> So everything, all those packages that fill my car from the P.O. Box yes. every week get brought down here, just like these. Okay. And then I'll have volunteers come in and we sort through new bras versus gently used bras. Yeah. So then we have thousands and thousands of behind you is tampons, maxi pads. We have nursing bras. We're working with homeless shelters and domestic violence centers and LGBTQ organizations. And these are, for the most part, largely women and girls and teens. We need, we need like more undergarments for, for, for women. You know what I'm saying? We're not men, we can't walk around with our drawers five or six days and it's okay. It's not okay. And you know, when you make a person feel like they're worth something, then they might feel as though they're worth something for themselves. And so what we're doing at I Support the Girls is just providing a little bit of that dignity so that maybe they don't have to worry about spending the money on a package of maxi pads this month and they can have that hot meal and or they can get food for their kids. For many of the women that I've met, they've had their bra for eight years. And it's maybe the only one or two bras that they have. And they're not getting laundered carefully in a laundry bag or in, the, in a shower hanging to dry for a day. They're wearing them day in and day out under multiple layers of clothing. They're getting really worn and really beat up and they're not necessarily providing the support that they were originally intended to. The first step is if you're not wearing a bra or you're wearing the same bra over and over again for eight years, it erodes that dignity. As far as how it impacts different women, the most common thing we hear is back aches, chest aches, shoulder problems. Sometimes the straps start cutting in in the same spot, causing like chafing and irritation into the shoulder area. It's just not okay. I've always been someone championing equality and advocating for equitable rights. And that's what Support the Girls is about too, right? I thought I was just doing a small collection, donating my own bras, and reached out and told a friend of mine, she said, oh, she had bras, and then suddenly my donation doubled and then tripled. And now we're over 350,000 bras and we're over 1.1 million menstrual hygiene products. Well, it just started from one person. I think that if you have those concepts of, I wouldn't, I shouldn't, I can't, I would say to look at the Shel Silverstein poem. Listen to the mustn'ts child, listen to the don'ts. Listen to the shouldn'ts, the impossibles, the won'ts. Listen to the never haves, then listen close to me. Anything can happen, child. Anything can be. If you internalize and listen to all of those, how can I give back, how can I do that, right? It kind of like all adds on top of one another and it's hard to break through it. I think if you can just give something small back, even if it's a smile, then you can kind of push those mustn'ts and won'ts and impossibles and can'ts and slowly change and make them into can-dos and happy to helps and the kindness can show from there. And that's all support the girls is. It's everybody just giving back a little bit at a time.